So now we're gonna unbox the anchor speaker, okay? So the anchor speakers are like one of the most powerful speakers that you have anywhere else. And this model is the latest model, okay, to be used. So let's open the box and see what's inside, okay? You have the power supply, obviously. You have the start manual. Okay, and this is the AN, you know, 1000X plus speaker monitor. These are supposed to be um, wireless. Okay, and I'm going to test it out to let you guys know how it connects. So, you have, you know, UTV channels that you could hook up and you know you get to use it wirelessly all right so what you do is that you unbox everything okay you have the speakers here all right one of the biggest problems that i could tell you about these anchor speakers automatically is that anchor really dropped the ball now as you could see anchor has buttons in the back okay to control the wireless feature okay these buttons there in the back to control the wireless features okay it's a cool thing but the problem is that these buttons, okay, aren't supported by nothing in the back of the speaker box that it comes in. As you guys can see, look down there. Okay, this is all that's in there. The plastic, that paper, okay, the power cord, and the speaker, okay? Now... The biggest problem is that because they don't have anything to support the back with these buttons here, okay, what tends to happen is that you tend to get a weak, okay, a weak button, okay, these buttons tend to be very shaky because in shipment there's nothing to support the back of it and I really believe that is something that they should really check out okay um, in the front it's perfectly fine because these buttons are flat okay they're flat they're built strong okay there's nothing else you know going on okay and I so happen to have an older model right next to me that shows you that you know this is like the older design okay that there is no you look in the back okay there's no buttons in the back there no buttons for you to you know press so there's nothing to to be broken okay there's nothing to be broken okay so okay so to set up this speaker all you simply do is just uh, plug in this power supply in the back. Okay. Let's plug in the power supply in the back here. Okay. Turn, make sure it's plugged in tightly in the back. And then you plug it in to the power supply okay all right then you have different inputs okay you have the XLR um, balance input in the back 
So what you would do is that, say for example, you have a mic, you just plug the mic in to the back. Okay, plug the mic in. Okay, make sure that the power volume is off because as you can see, it's not on. All right, and then you check your volume levels, make sure that it's down. Okay, make sure that all volume levels is to the left. Okay, to the left position. Okay, all right, so what you do, you turn on the power in the back. Okay, turn it around so that you could see the light is on. Okay, and then you just turn up the volume. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. As you guys can hear, it's a different uh, volume, and this speaker is, you know, very loud. As you could hear, there's some feedback as you turn it up but this is expected because you know you're dealing with a microphone that records everything so you turn it down and you can hear my regular voice you turn it up and you could hear this is the volume of the speaker okay and if you get louder it you know it goes because these are anchor speakers they're extremely extremely powerful so that's one way. You could also use like another output in the XLR, you know, input inside the XLR and, you know, use it like that. So I'm going to turn the volume down. Okay. And what you do now is that if you have like, you know, a headphone, you know, an iPad, okay, or iPhone, or iPhone and you want to hook up your music, okay. There's different ways of doing this. Um, you have, you know, the inputs, okay, here. But you got to be careful because how they design it, they don't have a stereo in. It's just a mono in, okay? And what you could do if you have, like, a regular um, combiner, okay, like one of these cables where you could connect both left and right, you know, to your to your cable. If you have one of those buttons, you know, one of those wires, sorry, you know, you're able to do it, okay? You could either put in mono one line in and just keep it like this, you know, which will be perfectly fine. It won't be a problem. You will hear the music, okay? But you could do like me and get one of these from your local um, electronics store, okay? And you plug both of them in. Okay, and then you plug it into the speaker and you're good to go. Okay, this turns in from two to one and this is how I use it to get quality sound. But to me, it doesn't make any difference, okay? It doesn't, it really doesn't make any difference, okay? And what you will do okay is that you plug in your headphone into you know your line headphone into your iPad or whatever and you know you choose whatever song you wanna choose and you know say for example you wanna listen to you know some music what you'll do is that you just put it in and you turn it up okay all right all right so okay and you plug it in okay let's play it back again all right okay but as you could see you can't have both plugged in your microphone and the line in so you could use either or okay and please note that you can use your headphones 
and your microphone inside the speaker at the same time but what I should have stated clearly was that you have to make sure that the level on your microphone is set up correctly it's not too close to the speaker okay because as long as your microphone is too close to the speaker you're gonna get that feedback but you can plug in both at the same time but you have to make sure that your microphone is away because with whatever you're putting in in terms of the, your iPad or computer or whatever you you could always adjust the volume okay from that angle but with the microphone there's only one volume if you guys understand what I'm saying okay and you could turn it up and turn it down okay okay so you know that's that's the basic use there's also a line in that you could use okay um, like if you're using like different you know Mackie mixers and stuff like that you could use it for example like you know I have a Mackie mixer right here okay what I would do is um, plug it my line in and my line out into their line in okay and you know you, you play music through there and you get a good mix and that's it okay so it's a very the anchor speaker 1000 X um, is a very good speaker um, the only drawback that you know I wouldn't you know I, I don't like about what they did with the packaging is that you know you could you know that these put buttons for the wireless feature could potentially get damaged and that's something that I don't necessarily appreciate about it okay so the 1000 AX the new version the wireless version has probably been around for a while you know it's pretty decent okay when you're using it